Hello everyone! Today we're going to take a look at the recent improvements to the 3D Handles UX for Nuke. We'll go through a new addition to the Match Selection workflow to allow you to quickly place 3D pivot points where you'd like them without having to tumble around the viewer trying to line up your pivot by eye. Moving pivot points allows you to transform your geometry from a specific nominated position, allowing you to more easily reposition and align geometry in the 3D scene. Our recent updates make the workflow much faster and easier, and hopefully less frustrating when trying to place your pivot points accurately, whilst maintaining a well-known workflow, so not too much more learning to do to start maximising the benefits of this new feature. So to get started, I've got this kitchen scene. And let's say the supervisor wants us to move and rotate some of this cutlery for a shop we're working on. We could try and rotate it from where the pivot point is now, but we then also have to translate it in a couple of different ways to get it to the exact position that we need, which is a bit fiddly and will take longer. A better way is to move the pivot point of the object to make it easier to rotate the geometry in the way that we need it to, and these new updates will help with just that. This pivot update is also useful for plenty of other workflows. For example, to rotate a card for a projection from a specific point, or to match a pivot for an animated piece of geo. But we can use this scene here to demonstrate what's new. So to use the new pivot match selection feature, go to vertex selection mode. This allows you to select the vertices that you want to match your pivot point to. Select the vertices that you'd like to match the pivot point's position to. Go to the snap menu where you'd normally go to do your match position workflow. You'll notice we renamed the drop-down labels from Match Selection Position to Geo to Selection to separate the Geometry Match Selection behaviour from the Pivot Match Selection behaviour. We only want to match the Pivot Point to the Selection rather than move the Geo, so select Pivot Point to Selection Position from the drop-down. You'll see the new axis indicator ping to the new position, which we've made visible in Vertex Selection mode, so you can see the true orientation and position of your Pivot Point. Go to Node Selection or Object Selection in the drop-down to then view the 3D handles again and start using them to move your object. You can now control your geo from the new pivot position, including rotating the pivot point, for example, to align the handles with your object before doing any geometry transformations. Hold down Control for Linux and Windows and Command for Mac to get into pivot point mode. And you can then rotate your pivot point to align it with your geometry or make any further adjustments. When I let go of the hotkey modifier for the pivot, I get the regular 3D handles and I can now adjust my geo from the new pivot point. So there you have it, a small but meaningful improvement that's designed to speed up your workflow and make it much easier to position your 3D geometry. 